My name is Peter Bespikos, and I'm a 22-year member of the Downtown Indianapolis Kiwanis Club. I joined in 1988, and what makes my membership very special to me is that in 1979, as a high school senior at Brebeuf Preparatory School, I had the privilege of being awarded one of the Abe Lincoln Scholarships. I have a visual impairment that limits my ability to do some things. As, as technology advances, that's fewer and fewer things, but in 1979, Largely because of the societal attitudes, it was a pretty big deal that I didn't go to the Indiana School for the Blind and didn't really require a lot of other assistance. Uh, today, I don't think I would even be a viable candidate for this scholarship. But back then, it was a big deal, and the Kiwanis Club came through and recognized my efforts and those of two others. And I want to give a perspective 31 years later about the value of this scholarship. Yes, there was money involved, and I'll always appreciate that. The club picked up 15% of the cost of my first year at Wabash College, and that's much appreciated. But the ongoing value of this scholarship vastly exceeds the money that's involved. I want to tell you a couple of stories that highlight the value and the ongoing gift that the Kiwanis Club <clears throat> gave me in 1979. The two stories are one was the award in February of, of that year, where the, where the Kiwanis Club said, you fought the odds and, and you've prevailed, keep up the good work. The other was an event that occurred right about the same time. As I said, I was a senior at Buff, which is a very serious, high quality college prep school. And I had just finished off my most successful semester there, in my first semester of my senior year. And I was in the guidance office, and one of the guidance counselors who knew me called me into his office and shut the door and sat down behind his desk and very kindly, knowing what my grades had been, proceeded to tell me in the gentlest way he could that he didn't believe I'd be able to make it at Wabash College because of my vision. Now, I'm fortunate to have been raised by parents who understand my vision and would never have let me accept that conclusion. In fact. I would have gotten some pretty serious prodding if I had even thought about it. But many kids don't have that advantage. And the truth is that any kid with a disability or with some other social situation that's outside the norm has to make a decision at some point. And that decision is whether to live down to the expectations that society generally has for you or to recognize that you have your own expectations and to decide, you know, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do what's expected of me. I'm going to exceed it. And that can sometimes be a pretty lonely and pretty scary place. It wasn't for me because, as I said, I had a great support system. And even sitting in that counselor's office that day, I recognized, because of the way I was raised, that what he was doing was out of the kindness of his heart. And it wasn't out of cruelty. It wasn't an attempt to slow me down. It was an attempt to protect me. But the bigotry of soft expectations, the unintentional bigotry of soft expectations, really creates downward pressure on people with disabilities and kids with other situations. And the Abe Lincoln Scholarship helps to counter that. 31 years later, I can look back and say that this club gave me a stamp of approval at a time when I was fighting the odds. And it does that for every other kid. So thank you for that award. <clears throat> thank you for the ongoing gift. And I know we'll keep up the good work.